Hi boys and girls. They told me to expect someone to spend five minutes with me in my boudoir, but they haven't turned up. So I think I'd better make a start. I've only got five minutes, you know. I received an email from Cindy in Cincinnati. <coughs> oh, you started already. You might have waited. Well, we've only got five minutes, you know. Well, did they have to start one minute ago? I didn't want to keep Cindy waiting any longer. She writes, Trudy, I want to know if you share my beliefs about the world's end, oblivion, the end of days. What do you think I am, Cindy? Some sort of movie reviewer? Ah, she sounds like an apocalyptist. I thought they'd all been replaced by pharmacists these days. No, no, Trudy. These are people who believe the end of the world is nigh. Ah, so that's why they invited you along today. You're some sort of expert in that field. <laughs> no, I'm a lecturer in linguistics. What, with that accent? By the way, where are you from? Swaziland or Chile? No, I'm Finnish. Well, that's what I meant. Oh, Finnish. I see what they've done. They've really surpassed themselves this time. Have they? Who are they? What have they done? You do have an inquiring mind, don't you? I like that. Look, Cindy's writing to me about the end. Yes. And you're Finnish. Right, and? There's no point dwelling on it. We've only got five minutes, you know. But on the other hand, we do have a whole five minutes to fill. This isn't quite going to plan, is it? I don't suppose you know anything about the end of the world, do you? Anything at all? Well, all I know is that it's probably several billion years away. Although, whether the human race will survive beyond next Tuesday is a subject worthy of conjecture. Wow, you're good. What's your name? It's Siri. Siri? Like my iPhone? I get this all the time. It's Siri. S-I-I. -I. It's a very popular name in Finland. For phones? For girls. But I presume if I ask a question you'll be able to answer it? Probably not, un unless it's to do with linguistics. Try this. Yesterday I asked Victoria what she was doing and she said that she was not doing nothing. Is it ever okay to have a double negative like that? Not in English, truly. It's acceptable in Russian, for instance. Interestingly, there's not a single language in the world that permits a double positive. Yeah, right. Oh, I just had a thought. Do you make calls as well? Call details. Of course I don't make calls. Look, shouldn't we talk about the apocalypse now? Don't you start with the films as well. I told you I'm not a reviewer. Ah, oh, but there's an app for that. Yes, yes, very funny. Look, shouldn't we get on? We've only got five minutes, you know. And before you ask, no, I don't know when the next buses do. What do you know that might help with this apocalypse business? Well, I've got two doctorates. Here we go again. And I bet there's not a single thing you can do to help me with this twinge in my back. Have you tried a chiropractor? I refuse to be manipulated. You don't believe in all that nonsense, do you? Although I suppose you might, being from the mystical east, the land of the rising sun and all that. The midnight sun, you mean? Oh dear. Are you a little confused, Siri? The sun at midnight? How ridiculous. Well, it seems we're out of time. I think we've all learned something today. Especially you, Siri. You'd be well advised not to get involved with people talking into their phones. And talking of Rebecca Brooks, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light. If you've been affected by any of the issues in today's programme, I just feel terribly sorry for you. Hope the rest of you enjoyed this week's show. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment down below. Ciao, juice and cheerio.